Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're back today with a brand new video. Today we're back with 5 facts about Inquisitor Master. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a comment saying you subscribe to enter in our Robux giveaway at the end of the month. The first fact about Inquisitor Master that you didn't know is her name. So if you look up Inquisitor Master online, or if you ask somebody about Inquisitor Master, if you try to find out her real name, you're most likely going to see Alex Einstein. And this is all cool, fine, and dandy, but this isn't actually her real name. You see, Einstein is actually a nickname that was given to her back in high school because she was so incredibly smart. Her friends called her this because she was always the smartest in the group and she would always be the one to know how to figure out any problem or any situation. But aside from this nickname and us knowing her first name is Alex, we really have no information about her name. She's kept her name and a lot of her personal information very private. This could be a conscious choice she made and if it is, I respect that. But I just found it really interesting that you can't even find her name out online. Next up, the next thing we're talking about is the fact that she speaks Spanish. So you might not have known this because from all the videos I've seen, I didn't know that she spoke Spanish. But it turns out Inquisitor Master is actually a native Spanish speaker. So Inquisitor Master actually grew up in the middle of Mississippi in a predominantly Spanish speaking household. Now that's interesting because all of the schools in Mississippi and all of the schools local to her are all English speaking schools. So if you're growing up in a Spanish speaking household and you don't really speak English but you're at an English school, you can see how that would be difficult. You can see how she could have a hard time with schooling, whether it's not really understanding her teachers and being able to grasp the subject matter being taught, or whether it's dealing with jerk kids who like to bully people just for being somewhat different. I can see how she had a tough time during school, but in the end, I think this all worked out in her better favor. And I think she would agree with that too, because now, as an adult, she's fully bilingual. She speaks fluent Spanish and English. She's so good to where she can hop back and forth between two different languages in one conversation. That's super talented. That's something that a lot of people can't do, but that is something that Inquisitor Master can. But next up, we're gonna be asking ourselves the question, is she a robot? So obviously, no, she's not a robot. We all knew this. But the reason why I'm asking this is because when she was in high school, like we said, her nickname was Einstein, this girl was so incredibly smart that she was actually on her school's robotics team. And not only was she on the team, but she was able to contribute enough for the team to actually go compete in a robotics competition down in New Orleans, Louisiana. Now, you have to be smart just to be on a robotics team, because if you haven't figured, robotics teams make robots. But they were actually smart enough to go compete in a tournament to see who can build the best robot. That's crazy to me. That's something I couldn't even imagine doing. But this is something that Inquisitor Master was able to do in high school. Next up, we're talking about the amateur filmmaker. So yes, believe it or not, Inquisitor Master was technically an amateur filmmaker when she was younger. Her and her friends were all so into making videos and videos to the point to where she actually begged her mom while her friends were there to get her a camera and when her mom returned later that day she actually had a camera and as soon as they got this camera they started recording and uploading little youtube videos now in the end i think this is one of the best decisions inquisitor master or alex has ever made because youtube ended up becoming her career this is what she does for a living and you would have to think, if she never made these first videos with her friends, or got this first camera, she might not have ever done YouTube. So thank you to her friends, and I'm glad that she made that decision. But next up, I'm going to be telling you guys a story about her first job. So after graduating high school, Inquisitor Master and her family moved to Texas so she can go to college. And obviously, while you are in college, you're going to need a job so you can have money to support yourself and pay for the things you need to pay for. So on her second day in Texas, she actually finds a job. She's going to be working behind a cash register at a candy store. So her first day on the job, they're just showing her how the store runs. And on her second day, which is her first actual day working, 
there's a cash register error and the money goes flying all around the customers. Now this is obviously bad because the customers can just steal the money and leave. But luckily, the customers actually returned all of the money. The store lost zero dollars. But unfortunately, when Inquisitor Master tried to go to work the next day, let's just say she didn't work there anymore. But that's it, guys. This has been 5 Facts About Inquisitor Master. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a comment saying I subscribe to enter in our Robux giveaway.